Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White, episode 2. I have no idea what I'm going to title this episode, but... Oh, that's a thing. But, uh, let's just see how the adventure goes out, or continues being. Now I'm just going to adjust the brightness and the uh, camera quality. So, um, first thing to mention is that I did um, fully heal Lucas back up. There we are. Did fully heal Lucas back up. He didn't learn any more moves because I didn't train him up anymore. And uh, and he actually does have a naive nature, so um, brilliant, I guess. So let's continue onwards. Now I have no idea if I'm actually missing any items here, but um, I don't think I am. Or if I am, not important to me. Oh, yay. Sunny. Interesting. Okay, gonna keep going. The cost transceiver is ringing. Let's answer it. Adam? It's your mom! How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I needed to talk to you so I called, but I'm going to hang up. The cross transceiver now. Oh, okay. Nice, nice chatting with you, Mum. Oh, hi, Mum. Adam! I finally, I finally caught up with you. And look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed for Strives and City by now. I have another present for you, Adam. Try these on. Adam received a pair of riding shoes. When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read the let me read you the instructions. Hold the B button to run faster than normal than normal. Put on the running shoes and tear around <laughs> tear okay. Tear around to your heart's content. That's what it says. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up. Guess it's good to clean occasionally. Yeah. Yes yeah, it is. Adam, you understand that you're never really alone, right? You're with Pokemon, you have friends, and you're always in my thoughts. Okay, that's alright then. Enjoy your trip. Okay, bye, Mum. That's Dad. What do you have to say? Battle between Pokemon trainers are serious affairs you can't run from. Okay. Right, so I did get my first request on a Pokemon to catch, and um, hopefully this is it. Okay, it is, okay, um, at, yeah, okay, there we are. <laughs> so, I was requested by Lucas to catch a female Purloin, and because I'm really lucky for some reason, I found one. So we're just going to do what the instruction said, and to weaken it a bit, that seems like a good amount to weaken it by. Take the attack, and then... What, what was it? Throw Pokeball? Throw Pokeball, was it? Come on. Jun Professor Juniper lied to me. She said weaken the Pokemon and then throw the Pokeball. We didn't stay in. What the hell? Maybe she weakened it a bit more. Hold on. God damn it! <laughs> okay, well I didn't want that pearl on anyway. I don't want you anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna affect me. No. Yeah. So yeah, I will catch um, the female pearl I will catch eventually. Preferably before the first battle, that way I can use it for the first battle. That's a patrat. Yo, this Patrat is everywhere. At least the different ones. Because of the levels. I know the pearl one is here somewhere. <laughs> but I'm getting the rat! Come 
Can we also talk about the fact that the EXP for the um, Patrat, I mean the level for the Patrat is like really close to my Tepics. Okay, so at least that's a lily pop here. Okay, brilliant. I don't want a lily pop though. That's the uh, first time I've said I don't want a lily pop because I actually kind of like lily pop. Okay, one more time. If not, I'll probably... Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording or... um. Actually, hold on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on looking for it and then when it comes to the editing process, just cut out all of this. Cut out all future encounters afterwards where I don't find it. Okay, so that being done... We'll uh, cut away right about now, and we'll join you back. We'll cut away right about now, and join you back when I find the purloin. Okay, another purloin. Now this female. Okay. So um, yeah. So this was the second purloin I found from the last time I cut the recording, and um, different. And this time, it was a female. The other one was a male. So yeah, I'm glad I finally found it. Not even gonna bother weaken it. Maybe I should bother weaken it. Uh, I don't wanna end up accidentally KOing it again. So we'll go with Embers, it didn't do much with the last one. There we are. Yes, lower my attack. Keep lowering my attack. Then I could use the tackle and it might actually get you down lower. But until then, I'm gonna go with the uh, Pokeballs. One, two, three. Yeah, we finally got it. Okay, so we finally got the purloin, the female purloin. It's cute act, it's a ruse. When victims let down their guard, they find their items taken. It, they find their items taken. It attacks the sharp claws. Ooh, it's the devious Pokemon. Okay. And that seems to fit in very well with a character from my good friend Lucas's uh, YouTube series and which is actually the whole reason why he asked me to catch this Pokemon and uh, name it after one of the characters and um, I see no better fit of um, a Pokemon being similar to this Pokemon to this character so because they fit in perfectly and for that I haven't spelled that name right hold on Oh, uh, I think, hold on, I'm just going to check how to spell it. I'm not saying I don't know how to spell it, I'm just saying I'm not sure if it's spelled right. So, um, whilst I'm doing that, uh, just uh, bear me for a second, hopefully it won't take too long. Okay, I spelled it right, yeah. So, yeah, with that being said, let's just go to our Pokemon. And, uh, here we have, um, uh, Okay, hold on. Time to transfer to the lower screen. We got Tepig the Lucas, or Lucas the Tepig. And our newest Pokemon, Delilah the Purloin. That was requested by, um... Lucas as a Pokemon for me to catch for this journey. You, uh, you can still request more if you like Lucas. Um, but yeah. You can still request more if you like Lucas. If this is a female, I swear to God. Right, well, I could. <laughs> That's annoying. Um, right, so you can request more Pokemon if you want, that you want me to catch if you like Lucas. Um, just because you already requested one doesn't mean I'm not going to let you request any more. But yeah, what we're going to do is that we're going to beat this um, Pokemon and then we're going to just cut away whilst I... So we're just going to cut away quickly so I can go to the Pokemon Centre. So, um, yeah, I was, yeah. Because, um, 
I'm sure you don't want me to see me go back. So, yeah, we're going to cut away now, and I'll meet you right back here at the top of this patch of grass. A few moments later. Okay, so we have returned back. Um, I, as I said, I got to the top of the grass. I did get in a battle along the way, if you're wondering, because I'm not that lucky to get through without an entire battle. Um, unfortunately, uh... Well, not really, unfortunately. I did battle that Pokemon just to train my Purloin up a bit. Unfortunately, it didn't go up a level, but it did gain some experience. So hopefully it'll go up a level against this um, person. I believe he has just a Patrat, so I should be fine. Watch me lose this. So here we are, the first trainer battle. A trainer catches a poke. Okay. A trainer catches another trainer's eye. This That is the start of a Pokemon battle. Because they're very territorial here, you know. You were challenged by Youngster Jimmy. Okay. Hello, Youngster Jimmy. My name is Veteran Adam. Yes. Or Future Champion Adam. Whichever one you rather bow down to the name of more. <laughs> wow, a level 7 Patra and a level 4 Purloin and the Purloin is faster. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to lower um, the Patrat's attack to where it's basically nothing and the only thing it can rely on is the critical hit ratios um, where it will just do I believe 0.5 more than what it would do without a lowering attack but um, we're just going to go one more growl and then we're going to start attacking it ourselves It should be using Leer but maybe it doesn't have Leer which is actually really good. Oh yeah, basically doing nothing now. So now I should be free to do this. Let's see how much this does. Can I get lucky to go crit? No, nope, but at least it does uh, more than what the bite does. Come on, Delilah. Let's see if you can win your first battle. Okay, we're getting there, and that's the thing I was scared of. Right. Okay, now if I'm correct, it would still do at least one bit of damage, so I should be fine for now. Okay, you're gonna go tackle. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> oh that was a last second half. <laughs> okay, Delilah. Um. Take this potion, it might help. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a hard sack and a half. Oh my gosh, it does so much. Okay. Sorry, Delilah. But um you, you did it you did good at least. Let let Lucas finish it off. Oh now you use Leer. Okay, I see how it is. Screw you two then for trap. God, I hate this Patrat. God, I hate Patrat. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go tackle. Of course it doesn't finish it off. Let's see how much this tackle will do. Nothing. Right. Okay. Okay, so an Ember's going to finish it off. And, oh yeah. Uh, okay, that went up in the previous one. Okay, never mind. I was going to say Lucas went up to level 9, but it's already done it. Okay, so Delilah's finally gone up to level 5. Um... Yes, good. But looks like I think it's a raised speed and lower special attack. I think. I'm not sure. Maybe lower attack. I would prefer lower special attack though, but I forgot to check when I checked and um, when I showed you guys Delilah. So we're just gonna do that now. Uh hasty. That is lower <laughs> lower defense uh heightened speed. Man, you, you guys you guys like your heightened speed, don't you? Okay, so that does explain why Purloin or Delilah was able to outspeed the Patrat. But we took quite a bit of damage from that one battle, so what we're going to do again... Lucas is going to hate me for this. We're going to cut away, and I'll meet you back at this exact point when i got gone and healed. Okay, so we are back now. Um, so uh, I went to heal my Pokemon. I got into a wild Pokemon battle along the way. I decided it would be a good idea to um, battle it, try and train Delilah up more. 
uh, it went very badly wrong. And um, Delilah is now back at full health because I used one of my potions, whilst Lucas has lost a small bit of health. But yeah, let's continue on. Well, your Pokemon don't have enough energy to fight, just walk on the road. Pokemon only appear in the tall grass. Yeah, but if we walk along the road, what do we do here? Because I can't really walk up the road if there's that. If that's there. Trainer tips. Pokemon that participate in battle receive EXP points. Have your Pokemon battle often and make them stronger and stronger. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but it's not working. Oh. Okay. Cute female voice. I really love Pokemon battles, because my cute Pokemon would do its best in a really cute way. Okay. Okay, what Pokemon do you have? Lillipup and Purloin? No, just Lillipup. Purloin? Okay. Okay, Battle of the Purloins. Meow. This is a cat fight. <laughs> it's a cat fight, yeah. Come on. Okay, we're gonna do the same tactic as last time, just lower its attack to oblivion. Because the worst thing can do is just lower my attack, so oh, okay. Oh yeah, assist will only work if you have a second Pokemon on yeah. And that's a speed tie, and that was also a crit. Okay. That's a speed tie that they got there, meaning that um I believe. It's probably going to outspeed my Luke, Lucas. Uh, uh, oh, that, that crate scared me. Okay. Yeah, go on. Keep lowering my attack. Keep doing it. I'm just lowering yours in the process. Oof. Okay, well, okay, time to bring out the big guns. I'm sure Delilah will eventually win a battle by itself without having to rely on Lucas. So what we're probably going to be doing for this episode is just, um, we're just going to make it until we get, to, we're just going to keep going until we get to Stryton City. For a simple reason, um, that'd be a good place to finish off, just make it to the Pokemon Center, try some city, and then call it a day from there. That is really annoying. Okay, so we've beaten that Purloin. Um, I'm not going to be going back to the Pokemon Center, because uh, I do have potions in my bag, and... Uh, Lucas didn't really take much damage. Delilah learned a lit assist, meaning they can use Leer, can use Tackle, and it can use Ember, the moves that Lucas has. Okay, let's try and avoid any other trainer battle. Actually, okay, this is the only other trainer, I believe. Um, I battle him. I battle him off recording, so um, my Pokemon levels will be higher in the next recording. But I'm going to battle him off recording. I know Stripes and City's up north, but I also know there are two Pokeballs here. One Pokeball and um, a potion. Brilliant. Where were you when I needed you? Okay. Um, so we're not going to battle this person. We're not going to battle this guy. We're just going to explore the rest of Route One. Oh, okay. That was a mistake. Oh, it's going too fast. Okay. Back up again. Ugh. Now. Now I find all these purloins. You're, you're male, so you don't really matter to me. Let's use assist. Just... I like the purloin to win at least one battle. Now, I can't tell if that was luck or that was plans, but I... The two times to use assist, I got Ember. That's brilliant. Okay. 
Okay, and because I know what's coming up, avoiding the trainer battle and any wild Pokemon battles, I'm going to be um, using some of my potions on Lucas and Delilah as I know there's a rival battle coming up against Bianca. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... The luck here is really bad. Uh, okay. The second I get repels, the better. But because I know there's a rival battle with Bianca coming up, just going to heal up Delilah and heal up Lucas, even though Lucas doesn't really need it, but trust me, um, it's all it's for the greater good. The greater good. And let's get into this battle with Bianca. Hold on. Route 2. Oh, neat. Okay. Oh, hi, Adam! Oh, God, what was that? Oh, it's her. Oh. Bianca wearing person. Bianca Beret. <laughs> hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle. Please! The Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. I'm not gonna lie, that's a good movie, ready or not though, so I'm not gonna argue with it though. So here we are going against Bianca. We'll be going against Cheren in the Pokemon school, but I'll be in the next episode, so I think. Um, Lucas got away without having to do any lines. Okay, so it's going to lead off. With, she's going to lead off with Lillipop, whereas I'm going to lead off with Delilah. Hold on, just here we are. And um, what we're going to do first? So we're just going to go scratch, just to see what she'll do. Okay, Odysseus. Um, I believe that. I don't really. I'm not really sure what that does. I think it's like Foresight, where it allows normal type moves to hit Ghost types. And fire type moves hit ghost type, so doesn't really affect us, so keep going with scratch. Tackle, okay. Okay. Um okay, so that's terrifying. Let's go with growl. Meow. Tackle again, okay, that should do less, please. Not less that I wanted, so we're gonna go with the potion again. <laughs> Man, I started, I started this recording off with seven potions, and I used the majority of them on Delilah. Well, I guess the intro to the black and white theme song for the anime is true. It is always hard when the journey begins. <laughs> okay, so you're going to use Leah, lower my defense, meaning my growls basically have no effect on you anymore. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use assist and hope to get Leer or Ember. Tail Whip. Uh, oh, oh, Tail Whip I have, not Leer, okay. Uh, I, well, that still lowers the defense, so it's fine. Uh. Okay, Scratch, let's see what you do now. Tons, good. And because I'm not a masochist, I'm not gonna send. I'm not gonna have Delilah go against um, Bianca Snivy. You have a potion, of course you do. But then again, I used the potion. Oh, so it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm so dead. <laughs> I think you can take a, another tackle, can't you, Delilah? Please. Ah. Okay, Delilah's first trainer. Oh, okay, first trainer battle against a rival, and it, she's gone down. That's okay though. I'll be training her off skip off screen, and I'll be getting both of them up to level ten. Okay, I <laughs> maybe a bit higher for uh, Lucas, but yeah. I forgot Lucas learned Odder Sleuth as well. But Lucas gone up to level ten. And now going against the Snivy. That should be fine. And, okay, almost a one shot. Yeah, you've done just as much damage as I need to do to you, so, okay. Ember's going to finish you off. Okay, so that fight was unex... Well... Unexpectedly easy, but also hard at the same time. <laughs> time consuming, I'll say. Woohoo! You are a tough cookie, Adam. 
I'm going to work hard on training my Pokemon so you won't lose anymore. Okay, bye bye. Is that what you're supposed to do anyway? Like, train your Pokemon so that you don't lose? She's a strange one. Okay, so here we are. We finally made it in Stryson City, and I know there's something up here. Yes, something that I'll never use. I say that. <laughs> I'll use it in the next episode, probably. Okay, so here we are. We made it to the Pokemon Center. So, um, what we're going to do is that we're going to end the recording here. And next time you see me, I'll be up standing outside this Pokemon Center with, um, with uh, two things. A healed party and uh, all, both my Pokemon at level 10. And if Lucas ends up going up to level 11, I'll probably train him up to level 12 as I like an even number difference or even number levels. Uh, I won't be able to control that when we get later on into this Let's Play. But I'll be trying to get both of them at level 10, if not level 10 and then 11. I uh, won't want to go too high because I know roughly what levels the gym leaders Pokemon are. But in the next video, we may be going against the gym leader, most likely. Depends how well the, um, my, that's, <laughs> depends how well Delilah goes. But with that being said, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell down in the corner below, and I'll see you next time.